everyone, it's Nina. Thanks so much for joining me today for a new tutorial and I'm excited to be bringing you some inspiration using the Stamptember exclusive stamp set with Studio Katia. This stunning stamp set is actually two different stamps. This is an extra special exclusive collaboration set because not only is there one stunning set, there are actually two. And the best part is, is that when you purchase the Floral Bunch stamp set, you're going to get the other exclusive stamp set, which is the Flower Bunch, free with your purchase. And that's whether you purchase the stamp and coordinating die combo, or just the stamp itself of the Floral Bunch set. And that exclusive Flower Bunch stamp set is going to get automatically added to your purchase. Here are the two sets up close. The Flower Bunch set is the set on the left. This is the one that you'll purchase to get the other stamp set free as a gift. I love both of these stamp sets. They're stunning and so detailed, and I'm going to show you a really fun technique that you can do with them. This is the Flower Bunch set, and you can see it's a very beautiful birthday themed stamp set. I'm going to be using both of them in today's tutorial so that you can see how both can be used on card projects. I'm going to be doing some alcohol inking. Alcohol inks are such a great way to make beautiful backgrounds and then the best part is, is you can take the alcohol lift ink, which is a stamp pad, and use that to lift off the gorgeous detailed floral designs that I'm going to be using today from Studio Katia. Those are going to create a stunning, beautiful image on our background. So I'm playing with my alcohol inks and I'm gonna first start by creating a lighter background. Now this looks pretty intense now, but as we start blowing these inks around with a blow tool, I'm using the We Are Memory Keepers air blower. And when you add more blending solution, this background is going to get very pastel and very light and airy. I love the effect that this gives. Now today's cards have a very fall theme to them. And I wanted to encourage you that flowers don't have to be used just for spring and summer. Fall is such a beautiful time to use florals too. I'm gonna to create another alcohol ink background using more of those same colors, which I have linked in the video description. As I'm adding these down, you'll notice this is much more concentrated and I'm not going to add any extra blending solution. So now I have a really intense background. And this is gonna give me two different looks with the same exact colors. And you can see how different they are, but how beautiful both are. Now we're ready to add a little bit of splatter. Alcohol inks still react even after they've dried. I let this dry for a while and then I brought in alcohol blending solution. I put that in a little dish and using a paintbrush, I'm gonna pick it up and splatter it across my backgrounds. This is creating some water splatter areas for lack of a better word, because this is pushing the alcohol ink to the edges of each of those splatters, creating that really neat light area. And it's a really cool texture effect. I'm gonna let those dry again before I'm ready to die cut. Of course, these backgrounds are bigger than what I really need for my card bases, so I used the Simon to Stamp rectangle die to cut them out. Now that my backgrounds are complete, I'm ready to stamp. Alcohol Lift Ink is such a unique ink pad because it's basically like stamping with the blending solution, but this is specially designed for stamps. I'm gonna stamp the Flower Bunch first, and I'm going to use the Alcohol Lift Ink to ink it up really well. Then I'll take my Misty Stamping Tool and close the door to give that stamp an impression onto the paper. The alcohol lift ink you can see is fairly light right now, but we're gonna set that aside to dry for a second. And I'm gonna pull in an extra piece of Yupo paper so that I can stamp this image back down onto the paper. Alcohol lift ink lifts off the color, so which means we still have the color left over on our stamp after stamping it onto our original background. So you can get a second impression by simply stamping that leftover ink onto a piece of Yupo. I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing with the other panel, but this time using the Floral Bunch. And I'll go ahead and give that a really good press. But again, this is light right now, so you're not seeing the full impression just yet. I'm gonna let these dry before I go ahead and buff them off. I find that this gives me the best results by letting the ink dry a little bit before buffing off the excess ink that's still left behind. Using a dry, soft cloth, I'm just going to rub this across the background to reveal the beautiful lifted design from our floral stamps. This is such a fun technique and such a great way to use outline images, especially those that are detailed like these. If you don't wanna color these images, you could definitely do a technique like this where you get these beautiful detailed designs with the alcohol ink being the color. 
I love adding a little bit of gold to all my fall card designs. So I'm going to bring in some fine tech gold watercolors and splatter that onto the backgrounds. This gives just a little bit more interest and complements those colors beautifully. There are some great greetings in both of the Studio Katia stamp sets. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp one from each stamp set onto some black cardstock and I'll emboss these with white embossing powder. After I've applied the powder, I'll go ahead and heat set these and then I can fussy cut them out to add them onto my cards. For my cards, I'm popping up my alcohol ink panels onto some white cardstock from Simon Says Stamp and then that will allow me to then start adding the last finishing touches to each card. I decided a bit of glitter cardstock would be a great finishing touch and really complement the gold splatter that we added to the background. So I cut some Simon Says Stamp gold cardstock and I'm going to layer the gold cardstock behind each of the greetings that I'm adding to my cards. I'm going to use the birthday sentiment set from the flower bunch on that card and then the floral bunch had some beautiful greetings including thinking of you which I used on that card. The final finishing touch were a few gold sequins really intensifying that gold accent that we have on each of the cards and you'll notice on the other card I did add a secondary greeting using the new Simon Says Stamp Because of You stamp set which is a stamp timber Simon Brand stamp set. All right, so that's going to complete my two fall themed cards using the new Studio Katia Flower Bunch and Floral Bunch stamps. Don't forget that when you purchase the Floral Bunch stamp set, you're going to get the gorgeous Flower Bunch set free with your purchase. And again, that's with whether you purchase the stamp and die set or the stamp set on its own. I hope that you enjoyed today's video showcasing both of these beautiful collaboration sets for Stamptember 2020. I will be back again soon with more Stamptember exclusive collaboration sets to share with you. But until next time, I hope you have a very wonderful day. Bye!